So focusing on album number one, which is going to be our A4 poster, we need to give it a sky here. And that's going to involve us creating a rectangle and putting some blue into it. Now, um, when we create this rectangle, we need it to extend beyond the edges of our page. Now, at the moment, that's, of course, shown as the white of our artboard. But this is going to be printed out. And anything that's going to run right to the edge of the paper, well, we need to extend it a little bit further into an area called bleed. So that when it's all printed out, slightly larger than what we need, it'll be trimmed down to exactly the right size. And then we'll have ink that's printed right out to the edge of our artwork. Now, that bleed line is the red border that you can see around the outside of the page. And I'd say it's only required for print. And when we build our own files later on in the other chapter, we'll take a more of a deep dive look at what bleed is and the specifications for it. So to create a rectangle, I'm first of all going to collapse the parent layer in the Layers panel. I'm then going to go across to the Tools panel and left click on the Rectangle tool, which you can also reach by pressing the M key on the keyboard. And now that I've got that active, well, I need to characterize what that will look like in terms of color. So I want to fill this with a blue for now. So I'm going to go across to the far right hand side to the Properties panel. It now shows us Appearance Options, under which the one that we're really interested in is called Fill. So we have two properties on any object, a fill and a stroke. The fill is the color that you fill something with on the inside, and the stroke is the border color around the outside. Now for us, we just need a fill color. So I'm going to hover over the color chip at the moment, which is shown as black next to the word fill and left click on there. When the pop out appears, we have a, a series of swatches that we can utilize. And I'm going to pick a, a light blue from here, like so by left clicking on it, that specifies the color that the new object will be drawn as. And then I'll hit the return key on the keyboard to make that pop up disappear. If you find that you do have a color into your stroke field in here, just left click and then you can go to the top left hand side and there's a swatch in there that's called none, which means no color, as you might imagine. And then once you've left clicked on that, hit the return key. I'm then going to hover my cursor at the very upper left hand side, right over the corner of that red bleed line. Now I'm showing something called smart guides here. Those are the pink lines that you can see on screen. And if you're very, very eagle eyed, you'll be able to spot the word intersect, which tells me that I've got my cursor right on the corner. Now, if you don't see these, you'll need to go to the view menu at the top of the screen and just make sure that there's a tick adjacent to smart guides. That means that they're turned on. These are really handy for being able to get your cursor just to latch onto elements like the bleed line in your document. So I'm going to go back up and left click on view to make that disappear. Hover my cursor right on the corner there, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and then drag from the very top left all the way down to the bottom right hand side. And once I reach that area, I'll let go of the mouse and that's our rectangle drawn. It's a nice blue, but it conceals most of the illustration on artboard number one. Now, the reason for that is that we've put it into the wrong layer. So I'm going to show you next how you can move content from one parent layer to another.